Often I am asked, how do we get that lovely patterned look on my kit boats, canoes, etc. Simply what we use from any dress fabric shop is polyester fabric. The type of fabric that you might make a, a Hawaiian beach shirt out, for instance. Now what we do is we get the material and we lay it along the side of the boat. I don't do the bottom simply because the bottom gets scratched and it's easy to match the paint with uh, to cover the scratches rather than try and do another coat of, uh, of cloth which you may not get the same pattern so uh, the boat has been entirely coated with epoxy resin including the the tape seams etc so having done that we lay the cloth on the bottom edge, the edge of the bottom and the lower strake. That is the only place where we actually uh, coat the the marine plywood underneath before tacking the cloth onto it. And once we go along from one end to the other, and at times you might have to put a little weight on your cloth to stop it slipping off, but once you've done that edge, the, uh, the extreme bottom, which in this case is the top edge, uh, it will hold in place. Then working from the centre of the boat, two people is ideal. In this case, my wife and myself. She worked in one direction and I worked in the other, using a paintbrush, which I find is a lot better. We then painted onto and through the fabric until we got a good coat of it on there. You'll notice there's some places here where it looks light and dark, it's drying in different areas and the light from the camera and the different lights make it look blotchy but that will turn out quite fine. Having done that bottom strake, the lower strake, then we move on to do the upper strake which in this case being upside down is towards the bottom. Now because you've only got 25 minutes of work time at 25 degrees which we're working on today I mix them up in those small containers and there's about I used about 800 mil altogether so we use one container and then we will mix up a new container uh, that way we get better uh, better usage out of the uh, material there is a little bit of extra noise here today because it is raining on a tin roof but I put a bit of a muffler on top of the microphone which might help. Now there are several reasons why it is good to use this procedure, this process. Firstly, you don't have to paint your boat. It looks very attractive. Just put a coat of, when it's all dry, put a good coat of uh, varnish or, or, or two-pack clear over it. Uh, this stops the epoxy from uh, over a greater period of time. It might tarnish or yellow a little bit. That will avoid that. Secondly, it covers up any of the seams or any little imperfections that may be in the, in, in the workmanship or the, the materials. It's sort of a camouflage in a way, but it ends up very, very attractive. And thirdly, it adds strength. Now, when we're finished here, and when this dries, we'll just run a knife along that uh, upper shear edge and we'll come back and have a look at see what the job is when that's done. Okay, now that this is starting to, to set, I can just simply go along with a pair of scissors and cut it away. And then it'll be tidied up and an outer gunnel will then just be screwed on over it. Of course we'll have a coat of two-pack or varnish to bring a lovely shine up. At this stage it might look a little blotchy because it does tend to dry in places but once we take this off but that's basically all we do. Did you press the button? Okay. Oh you didn't. Okay what we do now that this is dry or it's partially dry we just go along and gradually just cut it off with a pair of scissors 
and then we will fit an outer gunnel on it later on. Don't be worried about it looking a bit blotchy, because as its resin dries, this epoxy resin dries, it seems to dry in places a bit at a time, but after 24 hours it is all the one colour and then we just hit it with a coat of um, a marine varnish or two pack. There we are. Now having removed the excess fabric away from the shear line of this vessel, um, it's now ready to be uh, turned onto the other side at about 45 degrees and then about 24 hours later we will do the other side and uh, then we can fit the, uh, the shear rubbing strips or outer gunnels and uh, she'll just about be ready to go.